It is over. I will make sure the keep is secure. Meet me in the courtyard, champion. We'd best get out before they lock the doors. Jump mate. Look at all this. Magic is a cancer in the heart of our land, just as it was in the time of Andraste. And like her, we are left with no choice but to purify it with fire and blood. Strange way to treat a sick patient. Sometimes a limb must be amputated to save a life. Unpleasant, but necessary. And my surgery here is not yet done. I am beginning to wonder just how large your part in all this actually was. A refugee come to our city with an apostate sister, gathering power and influence without any accounting? How can I trust that the mighty champion of Kirkwall is not a worse threat to this city than the Circle? You're seeing threats where none exist. Huh. Just the sort of misdirection I would expect from you. The people of Kirkwall will mourn your loss, but I will tell them you died battling the mages. A righteous cause. Knight Commander, I thought we intended to arrest the Champion. You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad. But this is too far. I will not allow insubordination. We must stay true to our path. Andraste's dimpled butt cheeks. You recognize it, do you not? Your lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. It seems a lot more sword-like than I remember. All of you! I want him dead! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down. I relieve you of your command. My own Knight Captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. 
You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds. To turn you against me. But I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. She's lost it. Just like Bartrand. Blessed are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked. And do not falter!
suffer. No! We must both be that instant and it will interfere. Give them freedom, and they will use it to tear down everything we hold dear. No! No, it cannot be allowed! I will stop it! You will hear me, champion. I will defeat you! Slaughter spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry for all mages, <laughs> a reminder of their brutal oppression. He'd shown not only what the Templars were willing to do, but that they could be defied. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. <laughs> Here at home, the city all but got down on its hands and knees and begged the champion to rule. As for the rest of us, Eventually, we all left the champion's side for one reason or another. Well, all of us except for Meryl. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling, they grow, even if at the core remains the truth. A new legend had been born. So that's it. That's the whole story. Then Meredith turned on the champion. She was to blame. Or that damned idol was. Or Anders. Take your pick. Even so, had the champion not been there... Then I suppose Meredith would be ruling the city still. But the champion is not in Kirkwall any longer. So I hear. Isn't it strange how quickly fortunes change? I see. So how is hearing all this going to help? You've already lost all the circles. In fact, haven't the Templars rebelled as well? I thought you decided to abandon the Chantry to hunt the mages. Not all of us desire war, Varric. Please, if you know where the champion is, you must tell me. He is a hero. A man that the Templars respect. Someone who was there at the beginning. The Champion could stop this madness before it's too late. He may be the only one who can. Is that what this is all about? In that case, I wish I could help you. 
Just tell me one thing, then. Is the champion dead? Oh, I doubt that. Then you are free to go, Varric. May the Maker watch over you during the dark times ahead of us. Same to you, Seeker. Same to you. So, did you... Gone. Just like the Warden. That is no coincidence. So, do we proceed with the original plan? Or keep looking? It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him. <laughs>